This show is brought to you by these happy patrons. Today's highlights. The simplest NPR shaders. The hashtag 256 fess. And wire by worthy kids. So, for all the beautiful people watching this right now, welcome to the BNPR show. First up, the news. Check out this demo by Rio Timo. The grease pencil now has improved sequence interpolation. You simply draw the lines in the keyframes in order, and the new improved interpolation will create in-betweens for you. This will potentially lower the workload, a real game changer. The next grease pencil improvement is the fill tool. Now the fill tool will fill even areas off screen. Fill has precision options. Now it can fill even the tightest areas. Fill also has a new tool to help fill over gaps. The lines will get extended and you will use the fill after that. A much welcomed improvement. The Low Poly Festival is upon us again. The hashtag 256Fest is a modeling festival with a limitation of 256 tries and texture maximum size of 256 pixels squared. This is where pros and beginners will work within the limitations. The festival is a brainchild of at Feels and VR and has been running for a few years. As much as we wanted to show you some cool low poly models, it is impossible to catch all the cool tweets as the festival is ongoing for the whole year. The rules aren't super strict, so you can go a bit below or above the numbers. The most important part is take it easy and have fun. If you have been downloading Malt for the past few weeks, you've been seeing the Creative Shrimp logo in the download. Creative Shrimp is officially sponsoring the further development of Malt. We, the BMPR team, welcome Creative Shrimp into the NPR community. So come join Creative Shrimp to boost NPR development by clicking the Become a Patron button. This is going to be a wild ride. Tutorial Hyper Summary Time! This tutorial is an interesting one. It shows how to make stylized spot lamps by Calypsi. There are quite a few technical details, but here are the main points. This shader is not achieved by the shader alone. The geometry grid plays a major role in the shader. Then there are two masks to mask the dot grid. The first mask is a cone mask. It uses object texture coordinates Multiply vector with one in the Y and Z axis. Get the vector length and remap the vector length with a color ramp. Now separate the X object texture coordinate. Use it on a map range node, remap it from negative two to zero range to zero to one range. This is useful when used as a threshold in the greater than math node. To fade the end of the cone, another map range node is used, but it is multiplied to the cone shape with a different max range. The second mask is done using a spot lamp parented to the geometry grid. On the shader side, use a diffuse shader with a shader to RGB node with a color ramp, then multiply the result into the texture. Then change the color ramp to adjust the throw length of the spot lamp. And just like that, you can put any stylized texture into your spot lamp. This is not only useful for stylized spot lamps, but also useful where you need volumetric shaders to appear in 3D space. Just think aura, fire, and special effects. The second tutorial is a few pixel art tips by Felipe Dilly. Very few people will be able to see the Twitter thread, so we are including this short tutorial here. The first tip is how to position the composition for optimal pixel art. Take extra care with the camera focal length. More is better as that compresses the perspective. Then align the composition with the help of the camera composition guide. The second tip is using flat shading to help in stepping shaded areas. What does this mean? In pixel art, you have chunky pixels. To get that effect, the mesh should be shaded in controlled chunky steps instead of a smooth transition. You will be able to find his Space Station pixel art in the next beer fundraiser blend file. It will be a very complex setup. As far as how soon you can get this blend file, it will depend on the progress of the rest of the blend files. Please stay tuned. Have you seen at Lettier's special sketchy tune shader from the last show? 
In this show, we'll show how it's done. One, for the shading part, Fresnel is mixed with diffuse color. Two, to get the sketchy texture look, we need a Veroni texture node. A noise texture is used as a scale input. Another Veroni texture is used as the randomness driver. All of these will be the threshold for the greater than operation for the shading part. Three, the next part is to add that strip texture into the shading. The texture will be darker in the lit area and brighter in the shadow area, and hence this node setup. Four, lastly, we simply recolor the whole setup with the color ramp node. If you have more threshold levels, you can add more colors to the setup, and the result is stunning. Translating this into GLSL code would be fun, but that is after we have procedural textures and malt. There really can't be enough NPR tutorials, so here's more. Anime Style Clouds and Starry Night by Christophe Didane. This will teach you how to make stars and stylize night clouds. Want more advanced 3D pixel art? Then the video Making Advanced Pixel Art in Blender by Lars Mazaka is for you. Blender NPR Quick Explanation by PinCC is a short video to showcase one of many NPR workflows in his project. A very good overview video. Wouldn't you like to see a complex character setup? Raimu Project Overview by A Version of Reality will make your head spin. It is best viewed in small doses. Tune Shaded Character Guide from Modeling to Final Shading by Lightning Boy Studio. This showcases how to use the LBS 2.0 shaders. If you already know how to use the shaders, beer, when done, will be a breeze to use. If you want a very optimized stylized grass tutorial, then the Stylized Animation Grass and Painting Look tutorial by Pierrick Picot is what you're looking for. Now, lastly, back to the basics. The simplest NPR shaders in Eevee, brought to you by us. This short wiki shows the most commonly used NPR shaders. Even us pros use them very often. It's time to drop your jaws and salivate at these awesome artworks. Let's go.
animation time. A Dragon Ball Gohan vs. OVA, Absalon vs. El Armano, by Dai Tomodachi. We don't want to spoil too much here, the battle is epic. It's like five episodes of DBG in one, if you know what I mean. The ad spot is a plot, so don't skip it. Wire by Worthy Kids is the best tactical clown you could ever get. Captain J and Big J tricked a vampire into opening a portal where Little J is kidnapped. A must watch since everything is grease pencil. Usada Pakora 3D Anime Short by Yulis. This is just adorable. Watch it on Twitter with the sound on. There are more NPR animations. A few of the animations, though, have strict copyright protections. So to not get ourselves into legal trouble, we cannot show them here. Be sure to check them out in the show notes. And that's a wrap. Remember to participate in the hashtag 256Fest. It's quite fun. This show is brought to you by these awesome people. Please thank them kindly. Before we go, one final question. Which character or show has yellow as the dominant color? <laughs>